So if you own a motorhome and you plan on visiting Greater Manchester this summer, this video is really for you. So the Greater Manchester wide charging clean air zone is due to be introduced on the 30th of May 2022. Uh, with some discounts and exemptions. It's designed to protect everyone's health by bringing harmful nitrogen air pollution and at the roadside within legal limits as soon as possible. You can see I'm reading this. Now, I just want to make you aware of this, um, this new zone, how it affects us as motorhome owners. And more and more of these clean air zones are being brought in. Uh, this one in Manchester, and further ones in Bath, in Birmingham, Portsmouth and Bradford starts in 2022. Now there are full details on the Clean Air GM website which I'll be referring to throughout this video and there'll be links to that in the description. So please don't ask me questions about the technicalities of the Clean Air Zone. I just really want to talk about how it affects us as motorhome owners. So please don't shoot the messenger. I'm just bringing you the news. Um, keep your comments polite. There are some links if you want to email Clean Air GM, uh, and they'll be in the description. And I'll also put their Twitter address on there if you feel that you need to make your point known to them. So what do you need to know? Well, you need to know what emission standards and what taxation class your motorhome is in. And you can find this on your V5 document. The first thing is what motorhomes are exempt. Generally, diesel motorhomes uh, with a category of Euro 6, petrol motorhomes with a category of Euro 4 are exempt. Also exempt, it's worth mentioning, are private cars, motorbikes and mopeds. So caravanners are not affected. So what motorhomes are affected? Three and a half ton LGV and under with Euro 5 and earlier motorhomes typically registered uh, before 2016 or a Euro 3 or earlier petrol engined motorhomes typically registered before 2005, they will actually have a temporary exemption until the 1st of June 2023 and a daily charge of £10 per day after that date. If you're over three and a half tonnes, and your category is HGV, Euro 5 and earlier motorhomes will be charged £60 day from the 30th of May 2022. Over three and a half tonnes with category private HGV, Euro 5 and earlier will be eligible for a discount on the daily charge of £60 down to £10 from the 30th of May 2022. If you've got a blank V5 and there's no um, category on your motorhome, it will depend on the taxation class of your vehicle, whether it's LGV, private HGV or HGV. Fortunately, there's a simple way to check and you can go to the, go to the vehicle and funding checker, which I'll show here. So if you click start now, and check your vehicle. This takes you to the government website for a vehicle checking for driving in a clear, clean air zone. And you say check a vehicle, uh, continue. And obviously you can pay for the vehicle here for the charge for the vehicle. You put your registration number in and it tells you this is your, what's registered for your vehicle. Mine's registered as a heavy goods vehicle. So I say yes to that and it says where you can drive in the current clean air zone. So I'm compliant for Manchester because I'm a Euro 6 motorhome. So that's okay for me. Uh, if you go back and then what happens if it doesn't meet the standards? Well, obviously, if your check came back negative, you'd say, no, my vehicle is not compliant, according to the government website. And it says, what sort of motorhome is it? You say it's a motorhome caravan. And there's four different classifications here. Whichever one it is, a special purpose motorhome with a body type of motor caravan. And there's some discussion about whether they're going to allow a concession for special purpose type vehicles. And you can sign up for updates there to let you know if it's going to change. I very much doubt it will. 
or if you're an M1 vehicle, N1 rather, is it a showman's vehicle, is it a community minibus, is it adaptive for disabled users? If it's none of those, you're not going to be compliant. And you can go back. And we say it's an N2 type vehicle, same sort of thing, showman's vehicle, specialty concessionary rate, it's none of those. Are you waiting for a vehicle or is there outstanding finance on it? No, it's not compliant. I think you sort of get the idea here, whichever option you take there. So there are some sort of concessions there. And in this case, it's which tax class you're in. So if you're LGV, is it one of these? No, it's not. I don't think you can guess what it's going to say. So what is the area covered? Well, here's the boundary map. And within that boundary, there's quite a few campsites. I'll, I'll mention some of them, and apologies if I miss any of the others. The main one from our point of view is Burr's Country Park in Bury, which we've been to many, many times. Hawthorne Caravan and Camping Site near Oldham. Well Eye Hole Farm Caravan and Camping near Greenfield, near Oldham. And Gelderwood near Rochdale, which we've been to before. So how will I pay? Well, there'll be daily charges for non-compliant vehicles. The zone will operate 24-7 and it will use ANPR, Automatic Number Plate Recognition. You can pay seven days in advance, a bit like the Dartford Tunnel and the Dartford Crossing. There are some exemptions for historic vehicles and there are some temporary and permanent exemptions and there are some permanent local discounts for some motor caravanners, uh, private HGVs, which will reduce the daily charge from £10 to £60. There are some roads excluded, the A555, the A628 and the A57 at Hollingsworth, Hollingworth rather, and Mottram and the A575 and A580 at Worsley. There will be penalty payments for non-payment of around, well, it says £120, but I haven't seen the payment website yet. There is a financial support checker you can go through. And uh, at the moment, as far as I can see, the financial support is limited to reducing the £60 charge for private HGV motorhomes down to £10. There is apparently support to upgrade vehicles. And that looks like it's there to support micro-businesses, self-employed people, sole traders and the voluntary sector. And the financial support scheme is currently open to applications from eligible vehicles, uh, eligible owners of the following vehicles. N2, that's over three and a half tonnes with a tax class of HGV or blank on the V5C document with an HGV or private HGV tax class. There's also support for retrofitting your vehicle, so there are some schemes that uh, can convert your vehicle to Euro 6 equivalent. And you can check if there is a solution for your vehicle at the Energy Trust Saving website, and there'll be links in the description below. And if the vehicle is equivalent to an LGV up to 3.5 tonnes, there are grants of up to £5,000 uh, to retrofit a compliant to a compliant standard via a clean vehicle retrofit accreditation scheme oh, it's quite a mouthful you can replace your vehicle right yep yeah. it's possible to replace your non-compliant vehicle through an accredited uh, dealership and there will be finance options available if your vehicle is equivalent to an lgv light goods vehicle under six and a half tons there are grants of up to three and a half thousand pounds or, vehicle ac or access to vehicle finance, uh, an average subsidy of two, the 3,500 capped at 5,000. If it's over 1.6 tonnes and up to 3.5 tonnes, a grant of 4,500 per vehicle or access to vehicle finance offering an average subsidy of 4,500. What's my opinion? Well, there was a consultation period on, uh, on this and I, there was an opportunity to enter your thoughts on what you thought of the scheme. I think it's unfair on motorhomes 
uh, particularly if you've got an older motorhome, they are, they are leisure vehicles, they're not HGVs, they're not going to be driving around the town permanently, polluting the place. Basically, I'm going to be driving to the campsite mainly. So let me know, what do you think? Will you be paying the £10 or the £60 daily charge? Uh, are you thinking of changing your motorhome because of this? Or will you be looking somewhere else for your campsite? Uh, you may also, also be local, I guess, so you may have uh, different problems. Let me know in the comments. Keep it polite. So if you found this video useful, give us a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe, and if you haven't already, please hit the notifications icon and you'll get updates uh, on this subject and perhaps and uh, other subjects as they arise. So thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.